A few weeks ago, telecommunications company Digicel announced that it would be pursuing an initial public offering, IPO, and then it suddenly withdrew the decision, mere days before the company should have been listed. Speaking in Jamaica last week, chairman of the Digicel Group, Dennis O'Brien, said after weeks of meeting with investors and analyzing the market at this time, going public would not have been a wise decision. As part of that process for three weeks, you get up every morning at half five, you get into a car or a bus, and you do something like between 10 and 14 presentations to investors. So you're, you go into buildings, you meet hedge fund managers, investment fund managers, and you tell them in 45 or 50 minutes everything about your business. So we did that. I felt like a parrot after the three weeks uh, with three other colleagues. And at the same time, the backdrop in the market, the stock market, where it was going down and down and down. Emerging markets, because Brazil blew up, China blew up, and you know we're in emerging markets, although I don't consider Jamaica an emerging market, you know, because I, don't, you know, I think the risk in Jamaica now is that small. It used to be that big, but it's now that small. So we eventually, uh, you know, we were saying, well, this is the price we're gonna sell our stock at. But the market was gaming us. In other words, they were kind of saying, well, the backdrop is the market is terrible for emerging market businesses. We want to buy your stock at a cheaper price. And we've worked for 14 years. We said, well, why would we sell our stock for a cheaper price than what it's intrinsically worth? And at the end of the three weeks, we made a decision to pull. Mr. O'Brien adds that though the situation was embarrassing, he and his team are happy with the decision and may pursue the IPO again. The team felt that was the right thing to do. We made the tough decision. A little bit of embarrassment, but against the backdrop of the world going crazy over China and Brazil. Brazil, the currency there is down 40%. The market's off maybe 30%. Stock market is, everything's bombed basically. So we pulled and then we had a good bottle of red that night and we just said, hey, are we happy with our decision? And every one of us around the table said, absolutely right. You know, we 20, 30 people here, you know, in Digicel working on it, but we made the right decision. So we're a private company now and we may go back and do a stock market offering or we may not. It doesn't really matter. We, we never had to do a stock offering because we didn't need the money. Mr. O'Brien was speaking to the students at the Mona School of Business and Management in its reasoning series with CEOs. The reasoning series takes the form of a town hall meeting and allows students to gain useful insights about the experience and vision of the CEO and what it takes to forge success in an increasingly competitive environment.